consider two solutions x of t is equal to x1 t and x t x as a function of t is equal to x2 t x2 of t of the differential equation d2x by dt square plus x is equal to 0 where t is greater than 0 such that x1 of 0 is 1 the first derivative of x1 with, with respect to t at t is equal to 0 is 0 x2 of 0 is 0 and the first derivative of x2 with respect to t at t is equal to 0 is 1 the work in wt given by this determinant at t is equal to pi by 2 is what let's first write the given differential equation that is d2x by dt square plus x is equal to 0 now for this differential equation we can write the auxiliary equation so this will be m square plus 1 is equal to 0 okay so from here we get m is equal to plus or minus iota therefore the general solution of this differential equation will be x is equal to c1 cos t plus c2 sin t let this be equation number one and the first derivative dx by dt will be equal to negative of c1 sin t plus c2 cos t let this be question number two now it's given in the problem the initial condition that for x1 at t is equal to 0 is equal to 1 and dx1 by dt at t is equal to 0 is equal to 0 therefore if we substitute these conditions here so this will be equal to now so x1 will be equal to 1 is equal to now we need to substitute t is equal to 0 so this will be c1 plus c2 this value is 0 so c1 we are getting is 1 now if we substitute the second condition in second equation so what we will get at t is equal to 0 it is 0 so 0 is equal to negative c1 into 0 plus c2 into 1 right so from here we'll get c2 is equal to 0 right therefore x1 will be equal to cos t let this be question number 3 now the second condition for x2 condition for x2 it is given that x2 at t is equal to 0 is 0 and dx2 by dt at t is equal to 0 is 1 Okay. so if we substitute it again there what we will get according to this substituting the first condition in equation number one we will get 0 is equal to c1 plus 0 therefore c1 is equal to 0 and for c2 let's substitute this second condition in equation number two we will get 1 is equal to now c1 we have already got 0 plus c2 so c2 we are getting 1 now if we substitute these two conditions in the above equation in the value of x what we'll get x2 is equal to sine t right so let this be equation number 4 so the ron's kind at t is equal to pi by 2 what we can write w is equal to determinant is given by x1 x2 dx1 by dt dx2 by dt so this will be equal to cos t sin t now the derivative of x1 this is negative sin t and this will be cos t derivative of sine with respect to t will be cos t so from here w will be equal to cos square t minus minus sine square t so this will be plus sine square t okay therefore w will be equal to 1 because cos square t plus sine square t so this is sine square t is always equal to 1 no matter what the value of t is okay therefore the correct option is 
option A. For more information, you can refer to the NPTEL course, lecture number 56, Higher Order Linear Differential Equations on Engineering Mathematics by Professor Jitendra Kumar of the Department of Mathematics at IIT Kharagpur. Thank you.